Hello everybody, JT here. Today video I will be showing you how to make the program for a flat meal. I am using a I will be using a single point thread meal too and this thread meal is I mean this whole the tap hole is will be half 13 half in and 13 thread per inch basically mm -hmm. so I create a model here it's very basic nothing in here just a rectangle with a hole and then that whole side right there you see is a pre real hole for the tap. Um, so when you make any uh, thread mill hole, you have to know the first you have to know the the side the thread you want to make, and then second you have to know the thread mill. Uh, drill hole or uh, I call it like pre-drill hole something like that right so you have to know that before you select the tool and the, the, the uh, thread mill tool for this uh, for that particular tap hole that you want to use so in here I have this one download so Let's see, half 13, okay, so half 13 here. As you can see, 4219, I route it up 422. That is the real side, the real hole for the tap, right? So let's say if you do like uh, 5, 16, 18, you have to real 257. Right, so if you reel with a quarter twenty, and then you have to reel. If you do a, a quarter twenty tap, and then you have to reel two o one. That's the real side, the real diameter of that tap hole. And then the second thing is you have to know the nominal pitch diameter. Um. I just Google it, or uh, if you have a machine at handbook, you can get the minimum, and then you plus the maximum, and then you divide by two, you got the nominal. So this is just a standard basic one, but when you really cut the 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 the, the tap hole, and then you have to compensate the two in on your machine control. I will show you later but those are the information that you need to know first before you select all the two and all the uh, thread mill diameter so if I drill a 422 I can do what is it 290 diameter to 388 I think I saw how it two has It doesn't let me. Okay, well, something like this. But uh, let's do. Let's see, like one that is close to that. Okay, no, I don't want to do metric.
Yeah, I don't want to do metric, so it is seems small. Oh, there we okay. go. Okay, I'm there here. So as you can see, four two two is the hole. So we have to select a two that's smaller than that. Three hundred. Yeah, that's good. Uh, let's do 300 and da, 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 da. okay let's do three three eight three hundred so maybe this one let's see three eight cut diameter maybe pick something a little bit bigger huh Oh, we, I guess we can do it up to 388. Okay, let's pick 388. I think this is good enough. Okay. So, this I have in diameter shrink max. Okay. All right, let's go to give cam here. Okay. So, we are going to do the Make the program spot. I'll just do this quick, make a quick uh, program. 118, that's good enough. Okay, so this is the thread mill, right? So you select the single point thread mill here. As you can see over here is the neck diameter is 250, the diameter is 388. So neck. Okay. This one it's usually 60 and the, the manufacturer should say 60, include angle 60, yeah. Okay, back to give. Okay, so this one is you have to you should get the caliber to measure from here to here roughly. You don't have is you don't have to get exactly, but it at closer that you can get from here to here. And with this one, I guess about 60 70 or something like that. I'll just put six. Define. Okay, and you can see here it look like that. All right. Okay, so let's make the program real the whole fit and speed. You fill it out. I just do it quick so you know how to make the program. Pack full out. Okay, that's good. Let's do minus one. Okay. Okay, and you can see just a basic reel, reel the hole like that. Okay. Now, when you make the thread process, you pull, you click and drag the two down. It will show up this, and then you select thread, right? In here, you first you have to know which one to choose from, right? So, 90 or OD, that's the first thing you need to know. You do this like this part right here is ID, so I select ID, fit and speed, you fill it out. I usually do bottom up, and this is right hand, so I click on that, right? 13. Okay, so here's 13, right? If you do some other 
uh, size, you have to put it in. Like I say, if you do a quarter 20, you put here 20, right? Or let's say if you do metric, and then you have to put in the, the, the you have to calculate, but usually it over here, let's say M, M3.5, yeah, mm -hmm. so if you do over here metric, you put in here, if you do inches, you do in here, 20, right, or uh, 13 for this, this one will calculate automatically, and you put in here, it will calculate this one, if you put in here, it will calculate it, this one automatically, okay, so this is important, Finite cut diameter, that is your nominal pitch diameter, right? Pitch, pitch, I don't know. Uh, my English is sometimes I don't sound it correctly, so forget me there. Forgive me there. Okay, let's see the next one is material. You can see I put here 422. That is the real size for this. So we have about 14. Then clearance. 125, I think that's good enough. Everything else should be automatic. And if you, if it select somewhere down here, I usually use this. So I usually use one pass. And spring pass is when you want the two recut it. How many passes that you want, you can put in here one, two, five, or something like that. And I always you cut a comb for this because I know if I if the two is the new setup, uh, if it's the first time to run the two, I usually uh, it's usually cut a little bit smaller. So I you did cut the comb to compensate when after I do the cut and then it doesn't go in and then I have to use the cutter comb on the control, the machine control to compensate it. So let's do half in down, that's good. Let's select it and do and see what it does here. Okay, and you can see maybe you can see like that, yeah. So that is your half 13 thread hole. But let's make a little bit better by, and you can see it doesn't have chamfer. So we are going to make the chamfer to here to cut the chamfer so it look better and I always do that so set contour fit and speed minus 20 define okay 11 that's good let's see yeah, I think that should be good. And you can see now there's a chamfer here, so you don't have like a sharp edge or burr on top of here after the you make the thread. But as you can see here, I only make one, two pass, one process, which is I usually don't do this. So usually I do a rough, and a semi finite and then a finite, right? So let's do something smaller. Seven. Yeah. Okay, so that, oh, I have to put this one back to zero because I don't want the two like run twice. So, so that is your semi finite and then this is your rough okay 
So this is your raw pass. You see my finite a little bit bigger and then finite. And of course this finite is still one spring pass or you can do let's say two spring pass. So it's going to run three times. So the first one run and then run two more pass just from 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 there because we do uh two spring pass. All right, let's render it. It should be all the same. And you can see it look like that. Nicely done, huh? Okay, so that is how you make treadmill in Gip Cam. Uh, with the single point treadmill tool, you can do uh, many different size or different kind of thread. You can do NPT, you can do metric, you can do different size in, you know, like inches mode. Um, just make sure you select the right reel and the right uh, diameter for that thread mill too and then you will be using it to make any thread mill uh, some people say why do you make thread mill but not just tap it yes tap is faster but let's say if you have a hard material or if you are afraid the tap is gonna break it let's say uh, somebody did a lot of stuff in here already and you just put a tap in there. Um, you don't want to break the tap in there, right? So that's what I usually do. And if it's hard material, especially if it's hard material, I always use thread mill instead of tap. But let's say if somebody give you aluminum piece, you say, uh, they say, oh, tap this hole for me. Yeah, just one hole, I can get you a tap to to, to, to make that hole, the tap hole. But if I do a lot of hole, if I do, if I, I, I cut hard material, 316, 17, 4, uh, 303, 304, something like that, 420, and then I usually use the thread mill to make the, 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 the uh, tap hole because I don't want the tap to break in there and it waste a lot of time to fix it and then it may scrap the part as well that's the reason why you should do uh, thread mill instead of the tap and that's what I you know always do it so all right uh, that's it for this video as you can see it's very easy to make the uh, any tap hole with gift cam uh, see you guys next time and maybe next time I'll do a uh, NPT thread or uh, metric um, uh, tap hole as well uh, maybe in the next video so make sure you subscribe to my channel hit the like if you like it and then comment down there if you have suggestion or whatever you want me to do see you guys next time bye now